Hello guys and welcome to my guide for chest farming your trainee necklaces and rings on uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. So what you're going to want to do is go to Bleak Rock Isle. It's just north of East March there. It is the starting zone for your uh, Ebonheart packed characters. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to hit the Way Shrine in Bleak Rock and you're just going to head south. You see how my character is located just south of the town of Bleak Rock there? So you hit the Way Shrine, you head through the town all the way down to the south. And then what you're going to do, guys, is once you head south, what we're going to do is uh, farm the chests. You hug the left side of this rock face, and you're just going to look along the side of the rock face here for chests. There's a chest that comes right behind this tree here, just as I pulled my map up. There's supposed to be a chest that spawns there. Um, and then you keep coming along this rock face, uh, until you get kind of to this little dip in the rock face, and then there's supposed to be a chest that spawns right here. After you check for this chest, come back along the rock face the other way, and you're just going to go a little bit up this way, and then where you see the tree, you want to jump down. And you guys can see that I, uh, I found a chest there. Let's see what we get. Uh, just, just garbage. Oh well. So, after you grab that chest, uh, come jump along these ice platforms. It's going to help a lot if you have a speed boost, like rapids or whatever, because you're going to have to do a little bit of swimming just at this part of the chest farm, guys. So you're going to swim a little bit up here, um, and then you're going to get to this kind of like awkward little rock face and jump your way up. I had an awkward time doing this. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, as you can see, I got pretty stuck. Um, but for the most part, it's not that hard to jump up. You can do it if you, uh, if you just hold forward and press that jump button. So once you get up the rock face, get back on your mount and just head uh, east along here and you're, the next chest that you're going to find is going to spawn right next to that rubidite ore. So once you've grabbed the four chests in this kind of little area, you're going to head back the way you came and uh, keep heading north along here and see where the road kind of does uh, a bit of a bend in it. Instead of turning to go back into town, you're just going to go over the bend and then hug the rock face on your right here again. So keep coming along this rock face on your right. The next chest that you're going to find is in Deathclaw's Den, and that's just coming up ahead of us here. Um, you can see we got a dead Deathclaw on the ground somewhere here. Yeah, there he is. Now, this chest is going to spawn right in front of me in this den, right where I'm shooting at. Um, this chest you can see from the outside. It'll dismount you if you try to uh, if you try to come in here on your horse. So it, you can take a peek in the cave. If the chest isn't there, feel free to just carry on uh, away from there. So then what you're going to do is keep hugging the rock face and you'll get to the river. Once you get to this part of the river here, you see the polar bear on that uh, little ice island across from me. There's going to be a chest that spawns on that ice island there. Uh, it's not up right now, so I'm going to keep heading on. And then after you grab that chest, uh, head up this rock face north. Um, see how we kind of came along the bend and we're going to keep heading up north to where this uh, EP quest hub is. Um, there you go. So, as you come around this corner, the next chest that you're going to find is going to be just to the left of this tree here. Um, and then you head just into this little alcove here. There's going to be a polar bear that spawns here, as well as a chest that spawns right where I was standing in that corner. Uh, once you look for those two chests, continue to head this way. Now, there is a chest that spawns right next to these two skeletons here that are uh, that I just stood next to. But it, does, it isn't up right now, so I continue to go on. And instead of going into the quest hub, you're just going to go right past it and just keep heading along the side here. And you see the next chest we're going to grab is right in front of me there. Let's see what we get. Oh, just, just a bad a bad axe. <laughs> so we keep heading along this, uh, this route, keep going north. And then you're going to hug the right rock face again until you get down to the river. Right next to where this rubidite ore is, is going to be another chest that spawns. Um, so after you grab that one, keep hugging uh, this river, keep hugging the, sorry, the water side here, uh, and keep looking for chests. We see another chest here, we got this uh, level 11 going for it, he's using it already, I thought he was just kind of standing there, so I guess we'll just let him have this one. <laughs> Best of luck to that guy, I hope he gets something good. Um, so once you get to uh, this part here, you just keep heading along the riverside. I, I went a little bit high up here. It's up to you if you want. There's no chests anywhere except on this kind of little high up bend here. You can head along the riverside and then just take a quick sharp left up the hill and grab this one. Uh, or you can head along the top like I did. And then you get back down to the riverside here until you get to this dead end. 
Now, this is the dead end, this little uh, kind of rock there. You're going to come around the left a bit here, back down the side, and I'll bring you along the river again. As you're coming along these river sides, guys, keep your eyes peeled for chests. Sometimes they're a little bit submerged in water. Uh, sometimes they're hidden behind trees and stuff, so you've got to keep your eyes open. So keep coming along this riverside until you get to where these two little islands kind of have their closest intersect point, where they start to get really close to each other. Take a quick left here into the bandit camp. Right next to where these fish are is another chest that spawns. Um, I just kind of shot an arrow at the bandit, and I'm going to head on out of there. Um, after you check for that chest, come back up to this guy here. There's a boss that spawns in here. He's not very strong, so he shouldn't be too much for you guys to uh, deal with. After you kill him, take a look at the chest. There you go. And we got another chest in here. Um, I fail to uh, bust the lock off this chest like three times in a row. I don't know what to say. <laughs> But, eventually, I managed to get inside it, and there we go. I didn't get anything. Oh, well. So, after you grab that chest, we're going to head right back along to where we came from, uh, where those two islands kind of come next to each other. You see how there's a little bit of a lip on this island? You can use it to get a bit of air. There we go. You see how I make the horse jump? After you make that jump, you just go straight up this hill here, right in, in between where these trees are. You'll find another chest up here. And then after you grab that one, just head down along the left side here, and you're going to do the same thing. We're just going to hug the riverside and look for chests as we go. Um, yeah, and uh, there's a chest that's just in the water there. I just ran right over it. Um, that's going to be the next chest that you guys get. And then you keep rotating around this island. So this, uh, this little island especially, you want to be very careful to look behind the trees. I'm going pretty fast here because I know where most of the chests are. Um, but for you guys, I will say be very careful to look behind the trees. Otherwise, you might miss something. Uh, so there you go. See how I just about missed one there. Okay, so after we grab that one, keep rotating around the island. Um, and... Yeah, keep your eyes peeled, guys. Something to keep in mind when you're farming for these, uh, for your, uh, uh, something to keep in mind for when you're farming for your trainee necklaces and rings, guys, is that they will only drop in purple on advanced and master chests. So you want to make sure when you get the advanced and master chests that you don't let anybody beat you to them. Uh, they're very important. So that last chest back there was the second last chest, and then the very last chest is just going to spawn uh, along this kind of face here. It's just going to appear on the ground, really in open sight. You won't miss it when you ride by it. And then after you did that, all you do is you take uh, another quick ride south, and that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys later.